This is January 10, 2023, after the big rain on the 9th and part of the 10th. This is Carpentria Creek. This is a new uh, road they put through and the bridge. And the freeway is closed in both directions, I guess, because of obstructions. Both going south towards Ventura and north towards Santa Barbara. So. Anyway, to me it looks like it held up pretty well. Uh, gosh, look at all the mud that piled up though went up on the uh, bike path there, so they'll have to push all that out of the way. So it was really coming down. I had, I recorded five inches in the mobile home park, a little over five inches in about just over 24 hours. The event, you might say, was over five inches, and that means that up there in the foothills, it was at least double, probably almost triple that amount San Marcos Pass might have even been up to 20 inches you can look all this up on online there's a uh, for, for the Santa Barbara area rainfall so anyway you can see it went up a ways it's strange there's no water hardly at all coming out of the drain so it's, it hasn't been raining for maybe six, appreciably raining for maybe eight hours. Anyway, that's the update from this location. This is Santa Monica Creek in Carpinteria. And it's all enclosed in concrete here anyway. And it doesn't look like it's you know, too high up. But a lot of water coming down. Okay, that's part two. This is Highway 192. And uh, it looks like they might just now be opening it up. Just this very moment. And I'll just go through. Okay, you can see here, looks like the creek jumped over a lot of silt here on the road. But nothing like it was five years ago. 2017 was a lot worse. A Royal Paradon Creek. Check that out. See the boulders. It's kind of hard, I guess, to keep them clear. I don't know if these boulders came down or whether they were here. Okay, I'm just the other side of the creek. And you can see all the water that came up from that creek and flooded the road, went down that way. But it wasn't, again, as nearly as bad as it was five years ago. And, uh, but it just kind of marginally held, marginal. It got much more. Okay, I'm at Nidever and Via Real, and it's uh, closed going that way. But I'll see how far I can go on the bike. And there's quite a bit of mud on the road. Up that way, quite a bit of water and mud came down.
Okay, I'm on Toro Canyon Road near El Torito. And there's Toro Creek, which doesn't look too, too bad. And people are taking their chances, like I am, coming up here. Um, see the hillside just sloughing off. And uh, I'm, my mindset is, you know, if it gets really bad, just stop and turn around. January 10, just uh, probably a little bit after noon, or around noon. Anyway, this is Toro Canyon Creek, and it looks to me like the clearing and the catch basins and whatever improvements they made were, were, were awesome. It didn't even, well, perhaps you can see where the water was. See that water line up there about four or five feet where the uh, debris is on that concrete embankment. But it was a long way from coming up to the bridge. And I'll bet they got at least 10 inches of rain up there. I used to live at 1098 for many years. And I remember one year I got 70 inches of rain and over five, six, seven, and 24 hours wasn't at all uncommon. Well, it's passable, you can see. I don't see any boulders. Oh yeah, maybe way up there, there's a line of, of boulders. And then in the foreground, the crying out loud, it looks like a couple of propane tanks. That's weird. At least from here, that's what it looks like. So I'm, I'm turning around now. Oh. Can't get a view of the creek from here. Very good. Oh yeah, way down in there. Here's a better view of the catch basin and how it all, how well it worked. Uh, anyway, this was what you'd call, it was a gully washer and it really cleaned out the debris. January 10th, after the big rain, in Montecito. This is Romero Canyon Creek Bridge, the new one. This was all wiped out five years ago on the 9th and it's held up really well. I, it didn't probably rain as intensely but it was a good good gully washer. I don't see how high up it went, but it, it certainly didn't come close to crossing the bridge. Okay, this is Buena Vista Creek uh, along Highway 192, and there's uh, the mud and water that came down on 192, but they've cleared it out, and it, it's really not too bad at all. You can maybe see how high the water came up. See where that dog is? Looks like it came all the way up there. Getting pretty close. Hey dog. Yeah, looks like it was all the way up to the to the concrete. In fact, it looks like it, uh, there's some silt on top of the concrete there. So yeah, it was all the way up to that oak tree. The oak tree was partially submerged. So I bet they're glad that nothing happened. Wow, I don't know that I'd want to be that close. This is where it really hit the fan in 2017, January 9. 
anyway, he really held up well. Can't see how far up it went exactly. But you can see all the boulders and all the debris that came down and they just left it in place. And there's Randall Road somewhere over there. And it was all the homes were just completely wiped out. There were places on that side that were were all gone, torn up. It's one of the worst hit places. San Ysidro Creek. See the the watershed up there. I may have mentioned it rains a lot. When it rains up there, you might get you might get six or ten feet of rain in a in a given year. I got, I lived up in Toro Canyon, I remember one year in uh, 98, I got 70 inches of rain. 